Hey, what's going on guys? Talk Nerd City here, back for another video. I hope you guys are doing fantastically well. Today I'm back with the exciting news that we have signed a brand new keeper that goes by the name of Michael McGovern. Yes, there hasn't been too much activity with Norwich City in this summer transfer window so far, but we've got uh, the ball slowly moving now with another signing, and he goes by the name of, of course, Michael McGovern. He was a free agent. His last club was Hamilton in Scotland, so obviously the links there with Alex Neal. He was club captain there before he was made a free agent and impressed hugely uh, in the Euros. I must admit, I didn't have a clue Michael McGovern was before the European Championships, but after it, I knew um, all about him, mainly because he pulled off some fantastic performances, especially in uh, in the group games, especially that game against Germany. You know, he pulled off some really great saves. So McGovern's 32 years old. He's played 15 times for Northern Ireland, got played for a whole host of Scottish um, Premier League teams. To be honest, I'm not too sure if we really need another goalkeeper, but with Jake Keane going to Sheffield Wednesday and Remy Matthews going to Hamilton, I suppose that we do need a third-choice goalkeeper. But this is weird because um, McGovern turned down uh, a transfer to Southampton, to Southampton, a Premier League club, probably would have been paid more there, but he wouldn't. he wasn't going to be starting for them, which indicates to me that this guy wants to be a first-choice goalkeeper. Now... Is McGovern going to be the first choice? I'm not too sure. I wouldn't have thought so to keep John Ruddy and Declan Rudd happy. But maybe Alex Neal, you know, he's not a, a sort of a soft manager. He's brutal. He will drop players at times. We saw it last season when he dropped John Ruddy for Declan Rudd. Will both Declan Rudd and John Ruddy be dropped for our new sign, McGovern? I'm not too sure. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments section. Are you happy with this sign-in? I suppose you can't really go wrong with a free agent, an experienced goalkeeper, knows Alex Neal well, knows Frankie McAvoy well. So I guess it's kind of a good signing for me. I mean, it's not one I'm going to be absolutely ecstatic about. It's not uh, kind of the reaction you'd get off me if we just signed Britta Sommelonga or Ross McCormack. But at the same time, it's a, a signing that might gain us a few more points next season. And to me, that's beneficial. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments section down below. Leave a like and hit subscribe. It's completely free. You get notifications when I upload and it helps me out big time. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys later. Peace out. Hey, what is going on guys? Talk Norwich City here, back for another match day experience. I hope you guys are doing really well and hopefully we'll actually get a game in today. Yes, of course the last game against Lowestoft was called off because of rain, but the weather looks a bit better today. Not great, but it's better. It's not raining, which is the